generalized displacement before going to discuss about generalized displacement at first we need to know about euler's theorem euler's theorem if f is a function of x y z then we have df equal to del f by del x into dx plus del f by del y into dy plus del f by del z into dz or we can write in terms of delta f equal to del f by del x into delta x plus del f by del y into delta y plus del f by del z into delta z. Let us consider a free particle in three dimensional coordinate system. Then we have number of free particle is 1, number of constant is 0, degree of freedom is 3, and the generalized coordinates are denoted by q1, q2, q3. For n number of particles with k constraints, the generalized coordinates are q1, q2, q3 up to qf. If we consider a system of n particles and arrive with the position vector of the ith particle, then displacement of the ith particle is delta ri and ri is equal to ri of q1 q2 up to qf comma t where q1 q2 qf are the generalized coordinates and t is the time generalized displacement let us consider a n particle system for which a small displacement delta ri is defined by change in position coordinates ri where i varies from 1 up to n, with time t kept as constant. The position vector ri of the ith particle in the form of generalized coordinates can be written as ri is equal to ri of q1, q2 up to qf, t, where q1, q2, qf are the generalized coordinates and t is the time. So by using Euler's theorem, we have delta ri is equal to del ri by del q1 into delta q1 plus del ri by del q2 into delta q2 plus up to del ri by del qf into delta qf plus del ri by del t into delta t. Here in the last term, the value of delta t is zero because the time is constant which implies delta ri is equal to del ri by del q1 into delta q1 plus del ri by del q2 into delta q2 plus up to the last term will be del ri by del qf into delta qf the right hand side in terms of summation sign can be written as j goes from 1 to f del ri by del qc into delta qc where delta qc represents generalized displacement.